Hello Year 5s, this is the Extend and Deepen, so it's Friday, um, and have a look at our reading. Now, foolishly, I have not got much room to write our answers in today, so I'm going to have to write a couple up here, and then get rid of them with the magic of my pen again. Um, so Extend and Deepen, we've got Professor Pattern Sniffer, so once again we're summarising, we're looking at pattern structures, um, but mainly, you know, looking at these questions, we're summarising, try, trying to, in just a sentence, explain the information that we've been given. We've got a different text here, still linked to space, still linked with exploring space, um, but we've got more of a, uh, a more recent newspaper report, not one that I made, um, but it's about Tim Peake returning to Earth. So if you haven't read that, pause the video, go and have a look at the slides, or you can read it on here, I suppose. I'll have a little read of the text first before tackling the questions. The questions we've got over here, so what's the purpose of the text? Is it the same as the moon launch news article? So we've got a bit of comparing texts here. Um, we'll do that one first, I think. So that's number one. We'll write up here. So number one, what is the purpose of this text? Well, again, it's reported by somebody. Um, it's clearly a newspaper article. So once again, the point of this text is, uh, is to inform people of an event. That's what the news is about, telling people what's happened. Is it the same as the moon launch news article? Well, yes. It's, it's telling us about an event. And if anything, the topic's even related. So comparing these two texts, yes. So yes, they are both, they are both news reports. Can't really argue with that. So that's number one. I'm going to get this inf that answer out of the way. Ready? Poof. Uh, number two. Which paragraph is summarised here? The first British astronaut returned from the ISF. That should be returned from the ISS last week. Um, so last week, British astronaut returned from the Carnival six months to Earth. So number two. First paragraph, isn't it? You've got more information in the paragraph. You know, we know how long he was there for, we know his crewmates, but essentially it's that very first, it's that very first section, isn't it? So that's, paragraph, that's, that's your second answer. Didn't need to read through much of that. Um, summarise the emotions and feelings within this news article. So before it was very much excitement. Oh, I'll get rid of this answer actually. Poof. Um, it was very much, it was excitement, it was relief, there was worry. But if you have a read through this one, um, testing out technology, Reports saw the highlight of the trip was a spacewalk. He, he ran the equivalent of a London Marathon. I think there's a lot. There's not as much here about um, the Dutch hours bumpy due to high winds, but that they landed safely. Um, there isn't anything really about people watching it and being worried. Even the people in um, in you know in, in mission control and things like that. There wasn't. There's not that sense of. We were really nervous while we were watching and everyone was glued to the telly. This is actually more of a, I would say, the emotions are all about pride and success and achievement. Because if you, find, if you think, you know, he ran into treadmill, um, smell of earth was strong and wonderful to be back. So there's elation there. Um, pre he's a privileged person. Um, so I, I'm, I'm going to say there's key, there's key things in there. And I'm going to say that the emotions and feelings in this article is definitely uh, um, I'm going to put I get a, a a great feeling oh sorry my handwriting with this pen I get a great feeling of success achievement and from Tim Peake himself, there's a there's a there's a huge deal of um, of pride. You know, he's very proud that he's had the opportunity and pride to have experienced this. And I understand if you're struggling to know how to answer that question. I think it is hard summarizing. Kind of the feel of a text can be quite can be quite tricky. So anything to do with that, I do think that's different to the first text. I think the first text was very nervous. It was very, ooh, we've not done this. Is it going to work? 
Well, this one is more about the pride of himself because it happens all the time. Astronauts are always coming back every six months. We get new astronauts coming backwards and forwards now. Um, so I think it's more about personal pride and and success of these missions now. Well, I understand if that one you found tricky. Okay, so don't worry if you can't think of an answer for that one. But you've looked at the video and hopefully you're nodding along thinking, ah, Mr. Cooper, yeah, I agree. Right, get rid of that answer. Ready? Poof. Oh, no. Poof. There we go. Summarise paragraphs two, three, and seven. So, so this is number four. So, number four. So, paragraph two. So, one, two. The men were launched into space on the 15th of December before taking off the train intensively for their trip. Training involved learning to speak Russian, 12 days under the sea, and a winter survival. 12 days under the sea? Wow. And a winter survival expedition. So, I could summarise that by saying... Um, there was a lot of training before going to the ISS. As soon as I start listing them, there was a lot of training, including going underwater, speaking Russian. You may as well, that, that's not summarizing. You just summarize it then. There was lots of training before going to the ISS. You've got to kind of make it simpler. Sometimes you feel like you've not written enough. Right, so that's number two. I'm going to get rid of this. Poof. Um, paragraph three. One, two, three. During the space mission, the astronauts conducted experiments, tested out technologies, and uh, inspired a generation of space travellers. Pete told reporters the highlight of his trip was a space walk. Um, whilst he was 400 kilometres away from his home, he also managed to run, run the London Marathon. So... Um, you, I suppose this, this is summing up like his proudest achievements, right? like what he was able to do there. So, um, whilst, I've got to try and think of doing this in a sentence. Whilst on the ISS, Tim um, held experiments, oops, sorry, and even ran a marathon. I think that's fair to summarise that. There's more detail in the paragraph. This is just a bit of a snippet of it. Summarising can be very tricky, but I think that's not too bad, right? The last one, poof. Seven, paragraph seven, where is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the last one. His services sites will earn him an honour from the Queen He's made a CMG or Companion of the Order of St. Michael and St. George. Uh, very privileged person. Oh, okay, so uh, Tim received received uh, many awards and honours for his work. As soon as I start listing what they are, you may as well read the paragraph. There we go. So that's summarising that one. Um, your little prove it down here. Um, use the Venn diagram. Put some interesting differences about both of the both of the text this week. So you've kind of got to. I won't do that. Now. I won't flip between texts. But you can have a look at both texts. They're both on uh, on the classroom. And you kind of got to fill in the Venn. Now don't forget. So let, let's do. Um, we'll put ISS on this side, and we'll put. Uh, we'll just put the moon moon launch on this side. So anything in here is just the moon launch. Anything here is just the ISS. Anything in the middle is for both. So straight away, uh, I can put the both news reports. Um, anything else that's similar about these that involve going in space? Um, I think for the moon launch, there's a lot more about Ner nervous, uh, anxious, whereas the ISS there's a lot more about personal pride. Um, in both though, there is a huge sense of achievement because it was successful. Um, I think both of them have got quotes from people, haven't they, as they're a newspaper report. Um, I'm running out of room already. There's Obviously, there's a headline of both and things like that. Um, both have got, to be fair, there's going to be loads more in here, isn't there? I'm going to have to go up here. They've both got images. There's a headline. Uh, 
um, they include dates. In terms of what's different, I think it really is only kind of linked to this question here. Kind of the feelings and emotions this is the only thing that's really different in these two news articles. Um, but again, that's, there might be a bit more opinion in this one. Maybe you've got some different things. Um, but that, that'd be what I go for. The things that are the same are clearly the features of the newspaper, which you'd expect. Um, the only difference is being the events within the newspaper. So like we said, there's more personal pride, there's more nervousness in that one. Um, but it'd be interesting to, to see what you also put in there as well. Obviously, in your homework books, just draw a little Venn diagram, or you could just list. You could make a list, couldn't you, rather than try and squeeze it in like I've done. Well, fantastic. Well done. Um, that's your reading for this week. So uh, fantastic job. And hopefully uh, all of this reading chat will help with your English journey uh, as we're writing a newspaper report, aren't we? So fantastic and well done.